day to you. I am Lionheart Blue, and welcome to another episode of my Scrap Mechanic Survival Series. I'm just returning from doing a bit of loot with my new Explorer, which we built in the last episode. It's pretty darn good. I've had to add my drill bits to the wheels because whenever I stopped, uh, the Haybots would come and attack my vehicle. And I didn't want that to happen, so I've added the drill bits. They tend to stay away. Um, they can still attack the front and the back, so I might need to think what I'll do there. I might add a, a saw or something on it just to, to prevent them from coming, but I'm really happy with this. It's got plenty of storage. It drives really well. So um, I've been out collecting uh, component kits and other bits and bobs because I've decided to build my flying machine offline, offline. Um, it's over here and it took up an awful lot of component kits um, and um, among other things I had to go out uh, to another two hours to come to get component kits to finish this off and I just thought that was too much uh, running around to have on video so I built it offline the tutorial for this I will link in the description or maybe if you have a look in the top right corner there'd be a link to to Fant's uh, tutorial there this was the second one of his that I built I built one first which had three thrusters and it flew really well but it didn't have storage and I overlooked that I wanted storage on it so we've got two large chests now with bits and bobs in lots of fuel uh, I'll get everything put away from this vehicle and then what we're going to do is make some beacons and go flying hopefully it'll be light by then and uh, see if we can find some interesting locations just a disclaimer uh, there's a lot of controls so we have uh, so there, there are a number of buttons so we got one and two uses the suspension glitch to turn three flies and then we've got our standard seat controls using suspension glitches to um, to control the uh, flying machine so that's left and right uh, forward and reverse and then we got to turn left and right like that and three to fly now one of the reasons I like this one this design is because to fly you need to keep three pressed down so if I for any reason fall off uh, the flyer machine itself um, will stop and it won't go flying off um, but it does make it hard to fly because you have your hands all over the keyboard anyway uh, I'll put everything away get ready and then we'll go for a little flying adventure Okay, so we're ready to go. I've got a completely empty chest at the front for anything we might collect. I've got a full chest at the back with additional fuel in case we run out because these thrusters are very thirsty. Spuds, extra spuds. I've got a few in my backpack in case we need them. I've got five beacons. That's all I can craft at the moment. Uh, and a bit of uh, food. So, as I said, bear with me. My flying of this machine leaves a lot to be desired but let's head off we go sh okay there we go okay it's going well so far right now we can get out the base might have to find a better parking spot so we're going to go straight at the moment let's see if we can spot anything in this direction it's pretty awesome isn't it so nice to be able to see I mean unfortunately you're we're restricted by the render distance so you know you can't s guarantee to see everything but um oh uh, okay that looks like we'd be going out to to see there maybe we head up in this direction 
Oh, pressing the wrong buttons, which doesn't help. Up, 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 up. So what we're looking for is now I think there's a like a treatment plant somewhere. There's um, Scrap City. That's the down there is the crash ship, is it? So really, we want to be going in this direction, I believe. getting better at this. It's taking a bit of getting used to. Right, let's head over here. Get a massive expanse of water. I know we always call the water sea. So to me, uh, that's what it feels like, but in some cases they're little lakes or ponds, but... Oh! Yeah. Okay, I'm getting better at this. It's taking a bit of getting used to. Not entirely sure what I pressed then, but now we seem... The good thing is that vehicle stops. <laughs> so that's a good demonstration then of why I prefer this. A bit slow coming out of the water. So I'm going to have to find out what I pressed then, that made me kind of eject from my seat. Okay. So this must be... Yeah, this is this is the bit where the caged farmers are, which I think we visited in my collab episode a few, few episodes ago. Okay. So let's head in this direction. Can I land here? I live in trouble. Oh, this doesn't have any defences on it either, so if anything comes over here, it could destroy this and then we'll be stranded. Okay. Go to the logbook, beacons. Let's turn everything on. It's probably going to annoy me. But it should help. How are we doing for fuel? Wow, so we've used... 42 up in this tank and 44 up in that tank that's interesting um, mm, this is a thirsty little machine we go a little bit longer and then I'll refuel what if I can do this without going so high whoops not like that you can't So, I would have to say that that is not a warehouse we visited. There's no markings on it. I'm going to go to the roof and stick a stick a um, beacon on it on the roof. too bad bit fiddly but cool I think it's a good place to refuel as well when we head on our journey so where did I put them uh, in the back right so let's take one um, let's put it up here or I could just fall off the lift I don't know why I didn't put that closer So, um, we're saying red for unvisited, I believe. Cool, 
because there's that one red one and we've got the, the three that we visited over there so this should be the second red one we haven't visited good uh, and now we need a bit more a bit of fuel let's fill this up and this one there we go all full now I'm disoriented now we want to go let's head over that, that direction Yeah, so I, I can't remember if I said it already, but I, I believe there's a, like a water treatment sort of plant somewhere, which I've not been, been to. Oh, I need to take a a beacon with me. That might help. So you've probably seen the um, dev blog by now. Um, if you haven't, go and check out my video about it. But uh, apparently there's going to be in chapter 2 a big big boss bot. A trash bot that appears here on top of the warehouses that you'll have to defeat when you get to the top it's really funny they're all looking like they're floating in the in the sky anyway uh, so this down there is a massive charred area which I think has a lot of red um, bosses, not bosses, they're not bosses are they? Um, the red, big red bots. Um, I'm wondering if we should leave one here. I know I just said I'm going to save them but this could be a good source of keys and kits we might need at some point. But where do I put it? What I didn't bring is anything to put it on top of. Oh, I mean the beacon. Anything to put the beacon on top of. So maybe let's we'll press the right keys and we'll run over here. And maybe we'll put it over. So we've got two left then. Oops. Do I want to put one here? And knowing what I'm like, how am I going to know which what it is? So let's say, hmm. So there's no. Oh, let's use this one. Am I going to remember? How am I going to remember that that is the the big red? bots. I wonder if I can demonstrate it without dying. I mustn't forget where my vehicle is, my flyer is. So if we come up here Oh, sugar. Okay. Bad idea, bad idea. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to die now. And I'm thirsty, so I can't run. I wonder if I can get to my vehicle in time. <laughs> oh dear, what a silly idea. Run away. Oh, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Let's have a drink. Please don't destroy my vehicle. Okay, well there's loads of them around this area anyway. So, damn it, blast. Okay, Whew. what I could do on here is some lights as well. But so, you're gonna have to trust me on that. There, down there, there's loads of those bots around this area. 
Now I can't see anything either, so we might have to find somewhere to stop. Somewhere a bit safer. So let's maybe head in that direction. There's no point flying around in the dark when I can't see anything. That'll do, I think. So I'm going to collect all these things and wait till the, it's light again and then we head off. So I'll bring you back when it's ready, when we're ready to go. Okay, so I spent most of the night looting this building. Um, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Uh, I didn't get a great deal, but uh, I mean, nine component kits are pretty good. A fair amount of scrap metal, a few other items. I left the seeds and the uh, soil bags, not interested in them. So, I mean, this video's getting a bit longer than I, than I expected. So let's head off and hopefully we'll find something soon before I have to call it a day. There's another mechanic station down there. Yeah, I got some more fuel from that building as well, which was good. Uh, about 14, but it's better than nothing. So... Still looking around for Scrap City or something like that. There's probably a specific location it's going to be in, but I don't know where that is. Another warehouse. Crikey. I'm not going to stop here because I've only got two beacons left and I, I want them. So what's over to the right there? That's the treatment plant I'm looking for. So we need to be a bit careful here because I'm pretty sure there are big bots here as well we don't want to mess with. that completely but I want to try and get up here if I can out the way okay tell you what let's try that again we can cheat with a suspension glitch by turning on the ground I just think it's a bit safer if I put this up here that's all that's the only reason I'm I will get used to these controls at some point. I know it's probably very frustrating watching me try and fly this thing, but... <sighs> Alright. Let's try again. Aim in that direction. Up. Forwards. Way! Oof. That was close. There we go. Right. So I'm pretty sure he's safe up here. Component kits? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so over there you can see that that's the water treatment plant. So, um, can I get down easily? Stick a beacon. Oh, I can put it here, can't I? Yeah, I'll put it up here. Uh, I keep forgetting. I don't have them on me. Uh, let's put that that away. Take that beacon. And let's put it up here. And now what looks water that'll do. Uh, let's use the lighter blue. Water. So I know that's the water treatment plant. I'm not gonna visit it now. I'll probably come back with a car or something. Uh how are we doing for fuel? So really Um Oh I've got plenty, haven't I? I forgot I brought all this. Let's fill this up. So we do, we go for a bit longer. Let's see if we can find this 
Scrub City. I keep going on about. You're probably wondering what the hell is so good about it. Probably not a lot. Just I'm keen to find it. Because I know it's here somewhere. I'm pretty sure there's loads of loot crates down there. Which is why it's worth coming here and having a look. That looks like another area where there's lots of those red bots, big red bots. It's a deep ca canyon there, that's why. Okay, just avoid these trees. So there's a warehouse I have visited to the right. So, my guess is if I've been there, there's no point going in that direction. Hooray! Desperately trying not to press the wrong keys. Right, let's straighten up. Okay, let's go. I think we passed that warehouse earlier as well. I didn't want to mark it. Is that a packing station there? Okay. Hmm. Well... Even when flying, I uh, am terrible at navigation. When you can pretty much see the whole world around you, I still don't know which way where I'm going. In fact, I'm wondering if I can tell by the sun, but I can't even see the sun, so that doesn't help. Okay, getting better at this. So now we're in... We were in render distance, this is working, so it might take a while. I need to put more pumps and that on it so we come and it, it um, fill this up a lot quicker. I'm going to hang around here for a bit. Annoyingly it'll probably get dark, but uh, I think what we'll have to do is head home and try another day to find this scrap city. Oh well, we'll see. So I thought while I was waiting I'd have a quick look at um, a blog just to see if there's a specific location of this scrap city and it says it's in the far north. Now, uh, how do I find which way is north? Now I believe when I landed here earlier the sun was in that direction, unfortunately it's night now. So if the sun's there, that's where my base is, does that mean north is that way? So. I'm going to give it one last try because we're well, we're not low on fuel. Let's fill up again, but I don't want to get stranded anywhere. So I'm going to head north. I think it's starting to get light now. What's the time? Oh no, it's getting even darker. Okay, we're head mm, away from where I thought the sun was, which was here, and I head away from my base, and hopefully. We'll come across it. Not entirely sure it's very good going at night, but I'll do my best and we'll see. So if we turn, so we want to turn this way because the sun was there, I think. But this is the way we came from, right? So over that mechanic station down there. should hopefully start seeing appearing is loads of buildings all together apparently it's not called scrap city either it's called ruin city um, according to scrap mechanics wiki it's a popular misnaming I 
I do love the noise of this, sound of this. Sounds like we're, we are in some jet plane. Uh, I mean, it's too dark to see anything. This probably was pro one of the worst ideas I've had. And now I think we're flying over water. So, uh, yeah, we're going to hit the end edge of the map in a minute. And end up in the water. Okay, let's... I really don't know where to go now. Well, there's a tree over there. Hopefully that means there's land. I'll just press that button again. No. Well, at least I fell in water and not died on land. I've got to hope my vehicle comes down in a second. Down there? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll bring you back when I'm back on land somewhere. Because to fly, you need to keep three press down. So if I, for any reason, fall off, uh, the flyer machine itself um, will stop and it won't go flying off. Okay, well, we've got out of the water. I'm just trying to find somewhere. I don't want to go over there. That's a dangerous place. Where I put that last beacon earlier with the red bots. So there's some land over here. Looks quite dense forest, so it's probably not a good idea. I could do with a building somewhere. I wonder if we can get on top of that. I've done it again. Okay, I'm getting better at this. It's taking a bit of getting used to. Oh dear. I'm so lucky landing in water though, I'll tell you. So where's my vehicle gone? Ah. <sighs> so, such an amateur. How do I find my vehicle now? Thanks for the connection tool. All right, um, I'm close to giving up, but I think we're near land here, so I'll try and get out and wait. Well, it's much easier to see in the daylight. However, I think I'm gonna head home and try this another day, probably off camera, so I don't bore you with my awful driving. If anyone has any ideas, on the best way to navigate this map, to find my way from north, south, east, west, etc. I welcome any comments you have, any suggestions, because this is getting pretty embarrassing. <laughs> but we should be home soon, and I think for now, I will call it a day. I thank you all for sharing this little adventure with me. And Hopefully you've got some great um, suggestions on how to, to make this a lot easier for myself. <laughs> so thanks again. If you, if you enjoyed this, give us a like. Oh, it's a trader down there. Uh, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thank you again and take care.